Morning, everybody. It's June 28th, Monday, start of a new week. Here we go again. <laughs> um, th it was really fun putting up the Lark Ascending yesterday and watching how it had touched people and how so many lives have been impacted by... Um, so I was saying Ralph. I, I guess it's Rafe von Williams. Um, but, uh, you know, just being who I am, I just you, you looked at Ralph and you just said Ralph. So uh, thank you for the corrections on that. Um, had a, had a, ended up having a good day yesterday. I was really kind of weary, um, but ended up doing a bunch of yard work in the afternoon in the heat, and that kind of kicked me back into gear again. And I just finished. Uh, it's going to be hot as hell again, so I just finished watering all of the, uh, of the uh, especially the potted plants, because they, they start wilting pretty quick uh, when the sun really starts beating down. So I'm trying to give them all a head start. So far, I haven't lost anything, so that's that's good. But uh, today I'm going... Th th I, I had a couple of ideas for today to play along and uh, stuff, and I'm going to hold on to those because I got an email yesterday. And um, Phil Kagey wrote me, and... Once again, a lot of people know who Phil Kagey is, but if you don't, go ahead and Google him up because I talked about him a lot on a previous video. Um, and he's one of those guitar players that just every great guitar player goes, oh man, Phil Kagey. And dude's unbelievable. He's really best. And um, it's K-E-A-G-G-Y. This is his last name, Kagey. So yesterday, I'm going through emails, and I get this one here. Let me take a look. I guess my laptop will be my copious note for the moment. And it goes, hey, Leland, here's a blast from the glorious past. Uh, Tom Galata and I are compiling a deluxe set for the Love Broke Through sessions, which is what I featured a while back. Um, Tom and I had the two-inch tapes digitized, and among the outtakes was this long jam. Since you were so gracious to highlight the sessions, I thought you'd get a kick out of hearing this jam. Blessings, my friend, Phil Kagey. And then he's, there's a link on it uh, to this. So I downloaded this, uh, this link. And then um, it's like, wow. You know, it, it's like there's, um, on Spectrum, there's, I, I guess on certain uh, pressings of it, there's a uh, thing called All for One. And it was a jam that we did that was not on the record. And this is a, the same thing. This is, a, uh, this is a jam that we did that I was unaware of. And uh, they found it. So I thought I would just play you this jam that we did. Now, it's myself and, of course, Phil Kagey on guitar. And it's the great Jim Gordon on drums on it. And engineering and producing uh, this project was Buck Herring who I did lots of records with. Um, I mean, we did I Am Woman with Helen Reddy, all kinds of stuff. Um, Don Mendoza is uh, on flute on this, and um, uh, I'm not sure on the jam if there are any. Uh, keyboards on this are Michael O'Marty. Now, Michael's been uh, a major mover in, in Nashville since he left Los Angeles, but we used to do lots of sessions together back in the day in, in L.A., and so it was, it, this is primarily, um, it is myself and Phil and Jim Gordon and, uh, and Michael O'Mardian. Trying to see if there's anybody else on here. Oh, and gee, how can I have missed that down at the bottom there? We have Larry Nectel, the incredible Larry Nectel on um, uh, electric piano, Fender Rhodes. Larry, I mean, he was one of those guys, he played piano on Bridge Over Troubled Water, yet he played bass on Mr. Tambourine Man. So he was he was a force to be reckoned with. And I remember going up to his studio in upstate Washington with Buck Herring, and uh, we did a uh, an album project up there with Barry McGuire back in, in the 70s. So so, um, so that's the cast of, uh, of characters on this thing. But I'm going to go ahead and, and play this now because it's always, to me, it's a trip to hear these things. Lo, these many years later and, um, and just kind of relive the moment, which was really cool. So this was a loose jam that we did that, that they had the tape running on, but uh, this was not ever on an album. So this is 
first time anybody's hearing this is, is now. So check it out. <laughs> There's always discussions and stuff when you're doing some working on projects. I love it. I think I need shades for this one.
amps just go wherever they want to go. Just lay out a set of chords and go for it.
<laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> there are so many outtakes like that sitting in lockers and storerooms and stuff. There were so many projects I worked on where there would be just, you know, the band would be jamming and, and just playing. You know, we had a lot of time in the studio. It wasn't like rush in, you know, come on, guys, we got to get five songs in the next three hours kind of thing. And, uh, boy, I loved playing with Jim Gordon. It's something, it's just his pocket it was so good. And some of my favorite dates was, I remember doing a project with Billy Preston and, um, and Jim Gordon and Jim Keltner they played double drums on it. And I was sitting between these two amazing musicians, just kind of creaming, going, wow, check this out. Jim was such a great drummer to play with. I, I miss him so much. And it just, another, just one of the great tragedies of this business. Boy, that guy's legacy is deep. Um, and then having Nickel and Omarty and on here and stuff. It's just, uh, it, it's just fun. You know, and, and this is, you know, pre long pre uh, click tracks and sequencing and all that. So man, everybody just count it off. And I guarantee you that if you probably set a, you know, a metronome at the beginning of this and then checked it out at the end, it was probably about the same place, you know, but it has that just those little moves and stuff uh, emotionally in it where a click sometimes really just kind of makes it, you know, sit there like that. Um, but I was tickled to death yesterday when Phil wrote me and he said, Get, check out what I found. <laughs> I didn't remember this at all. And like I said, we've got, I've got that one too called uh, All for One from the Billy Cobham Spectrum album that was just a, just a raw jam in the morning getting sounds. Ken Scott was getting sounds with it and we were just all kind of warming up and it is just ferocious. Um, maybe I'll, I'll play that for you for any of those who haven't heard that, that are familiar with um, Spectrum, or if you're just not familiar with it at all, this will be a good teaser to get you into it, because I've done a lot of stuff except for the one song, Quadrant 4, which I'm saving for Rick Converse and to surprise him with someday. You know, Rick, you know about this. Um, so uh, so that's it for today, I think. I think this was just a pleasant surprise to me. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, what a kick. So I'm going to get going here. I've got a lot of stuff to do. I just sent off a song to, uh, that I did for Ian Pace. And I, I just saw in my email that he had downloaded the files I sent him. So I'm waiting to hear if that was okay. And if he wants anything different, I'll do it. Otherwise, there's another song um, from him waiting to do. And then I got another project that somebody sent me with, I think, four songs they want me to do on that. And then another thing that I've got to get them to send me the file again. I can't find it. I found the chart, which is you know, pages upon pa copious pages of, of stuff to, to look at. So um, I, I really need the, uh, the music <laughs> so, so I can do it. So it's going to be busy. And then I've got a bunch of work I'm doing outside. I'm going to try to grab probably before I do all the other things before it gets too hot out. And uh, did two more cameos and a book to deliver to the post office. I think one or two. Um, so things are plowing along here. Um, but more than anything, I just want to wish everybody a great week. Have just a, you know, be good to yourselves, be good to your family and friends, everybody. Please give a stop for a second and just give thought to all the people that are working so diligently on a daily basis trying to save people's lives. I, I had some friends in Australia who had gigs coming up that they've had to cancel the gigs because numbers are going up a bit apparently. And uh, I don't want th that to happen here. So be cautious, be smart about this. Um, I've said it enough. I just want to say thank you to all of the people working front line uh, that have probably never expected a year and a half later to still be dealing with so much of what they're dealing with, but their tenacity and professionalism carries them through. And it also, again, and those poor folks down in Florida who are dealing with that building collapse, the, uh, the crews that are trying to unearth this to see if, if by any chance there's a little pocket somewhere where maybe somebody has been you know, caught 
in. They can't move because they're covered in concrete, but they, they have just a little air pocket in there. My fingers are crossed that somebody will come out of this. Um, I mean, so far, I think it was just that 10-year-old boy that they managed to get. Um, so, ma'am, my heart is with you folks. This I can't imagine what you're going through, the stress level of that. So, so take good care. Um, thanks, Phil Kagey, for, for sending me that today. That's a kick, and it's nobody's ever heard this uh, till just now. So, you guys are you're now front line here on, on my channel. You're getting things first and foremost. So take good care. All my best wishes, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.